let's take a look at an application of a radical equation. We have a formula, v equals the square root of 20 times l. This formula is used to estimate the speed of a car, v, in miles per hour, based on the length of the graph, l, in feet, of its skid marks upon sudden braking on a dry asphalt road. Police can use this formula to estimate the speed of a car in an accident when someone's suddenly braking. So they can see at what speed they were going once they applied the brakes very quickly. A motorist is involved in an accident. A police officer measures the car's skid marks to be 245 feet long. Estimate the speed at which the motorist was traveling before braking. If the posted speed limit is 50 miles per hour and the motorist tells the officer he was not speeding, should the officer believe him? So we have a word problem. We are given a formula for the word problem. So we have an equation. Things that we need to notice. V is in miles per hour and L is in feet. I see that the skid marks are 245 feet long. So that's going to be my L. And I'm being asked to estimate the speed at which the motorist was traveling. The next part is additional, beyond your calculation, what do you notice? So if I take the formula V equals square root 20 times L, 245, bring up the calculator, 20 times 245, take the square root, we get 70, and this is in miles per hour. 70 miles per hour is the estimated, estimated braking speed or the estimated speed the moment that the motorist applies the brakes. Now the next part of the question, if the posted speed limit is 50 miles per hour and the motorist tells the officer he was not speeding, should the officer believe him? Scientists measure these braking speeds for all different kinds of cars. So this particular formula is for a particular type of car we would have different formulas for different types of cars because that skid mark length is going to be based on a lot of different factors, not just the speed at which the car goes, but also the weight of the car and possibly the type of brakes it has and the tires and all kinds of other things. So this is a very simplified question for a very complex problem, but it does give us an estimate, which is the goal. Estimate. Don't get it exact, just estimate. The policeman estimates the speed at 70 miles per hour. The motorist says he wasn't speeding. Should, should the motorist be believed? Well, 50 miles per hour and 70 miles per hour are very far apart when you think about speeds. So it's really difficult to think about the motorist saying he's not speeding, but he's producing skid marks for a speed of 70 miles per hour. So if I were in this position, I would likely not believe the motorist. And the ultimate reason behind these skid marks, think about it. When, when you're driving your car at a certain speed, it takes a period of time for you to slow down your car when you apply the brakes, even if you apply the brakes very suddenly. But you will stop. The idea with applying the brakes is you will stop, but you're going to create these skid marks until you stop. And the lengths of those skid marks are related to how fast you are going. The longer the skid mark, the faster you are going. 